today's adventures take us to Spofford Castle. Hi guys, this is Travels of Ethel the Van. A huge welcome if this is your first visit to our channel and welcome back to anyone who has stumbled across us before. Ethel is our van, an old lady, 1988 Ford Transit Flare Auto Sleeper. She is our gateway to exploration, our dream developer and sunset chaser. Many cannot help but smile at our vintage van, but this little beauty has rattled and rolled us along in 2021 on journeys we would never have been and adventures we couldn't imagine. We are the most naive, unorganised and unprepared van life vacationers, closing our eyes, buckling up and just bracing ourselves for what Ethel can throw our way. None of the gear and definitely no idea. Back in May, we spontaneously purchased a non-running Ethel and together our family, Leanne, Oliver, Tia, Lily, Mabel and Martha, grabbed the opportunity with both hands and headed off to explore and experience as much of the UK as our little Ethel would take us. Join us and maybe be inspired to take advantage of the beauty and wonder the UK has to offer as we head out on another clattering chaotic camping journey. are a bit late but I've got everybody up and ready and I've got a surprise. It's New Year's Eve so we're going to go out for the day. Exploring Spofforth Castle. Oliver's brought us here as a bit of a surprise. This is our first stop today. It's really cool. You can walk in actually a castle, it's a manor house. Um, it's part of the English heritage. And walking around foundations and stuff, it's just it's quite cool. There's like steps and you can really get involved and get into it instead of just standing on the outside. Spofforth Castle is a site managed by English Heritage and is a Grade 2 listed building. It is free entry to all, is dog and motorhome friendly and is surrounded by on-street parking. The main seat of the Percy family, Spofforth Castle was home to one of the most important and influential families in Northern England. The buildings was reduced to ruins during the English Civil War of 1642 to 1646.
With passages, private chambers and a great hall comprised over several floors with accessible doorways and staircases, the castle is a wonder to explore and step into the history savoured in the stone walls. Interestingly enough, Spoth of Castle, it's not actually a castle, it's a, a, it's a, it's a house, a stately home. And when they built it, they used a natural rocky outcrop here to act as one of the walls, presumably to save on materials. Um, initially, it were just this one room, but they have extended it. In the late, it was built in early 13th century. They extended it in late 13th century to, to widen it. And then in the 15th century, they built outwards as well, as well and also built the tower. Um, all the entrances are are carved into the solid stone as well so all the stairs are carved into solid stone um, it's really pretty actually Small rocky outcrop, the castle overlooks Spother Village. We have just come back to the camper van and let somebody use our loo. Um, just goes to show you can't be Ethel. Um, and we are now off to our second stop of the day, which is a surprise. <laughs> so annoying. So, <laughs> actually built it into the side of, you're going to have to solve. But later on, in late, I can't, I can't do it. Spot, I don't know how to start it. <laughs> 